Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create a cPanel with the Web Hosting Manager. So to get started, I've logged into my Web Hosting Manager control panel and I see all of these icons in front of me, as well as this uh, menu bar on the left. So I'm going to scroll down here on the left, all the way down to Account Functions. Here we go, Account Functions. I'm then going to hover over Create a New Account and click Create a New Account. So I'm taken to this page where I, I'm asked to enter my domain name. So I'm simply going to put yourdomain.com. It then gives you a username, and you, you notice this is quite uh, a short one. It asks for a password and an email address. So you can choose a package if you set up uh, packages with uh, pre limits and things. Uh, if you have sort of system quotas to use you could uh, use this feature or you could select options manually if by checking this box so I'm just gonna leave this as is and leave it as unlimited for now as I'm gonna be the only one using this account you've also got a number of themes that you can use and you can customize these within the web hosting manager platform uh, the language and if it's a reseller or or not you can check these boxes and it will allow them to make uh, additional changes to this account so we're just going to leave this blank we can enable some settings here and we just need to um, check which which name service we're going to use if we're going to use the name service specified at the domains registrar or overwrite any existing DNS and manage the DNS within the cPanel here so we're going to leave it with our name servers and we're also going to check automatically detect configuration uh, for the mail settings so we click create and it's now configuring the DNS setting up all the MX settings and there we go we see our new cPanel has been created and all the information is here so if we need to um, to access this, we'll be able to access it by typing in our domain name forward slash cPanel. Uh, you can also access it through the web hosting manager by clicking on account information, list accounts, and there we see our new domain. So we click on the cPanel icon and it does ask us to log in like so see if I can remember the password I used and no I can't but that's it that's how you create your uh, your cPanel thanks for watching bye for now